i se vëllë që janë business minë në a lot of money, am nërë minë nëzim broadcasting to you from Cairo, the capital of Egypt, the microcosm of the whole universe, and we do extend our condolences to the Russian people for their loss due to the tragic event taking place over over the Egyptian in the Egyptian airspace. Well, of uh, uh, the uh, Russian airliner. Um, there is a lot uh, to say uh, about that, but a lot also is not known yet. Uh, um, Egypt recovered the two black boxes of the doomed Russian plane on Saturday. Prime Minister Sharif said it was impossible to determine the cause of the plane's crash until the black boxes were examined, but that no irregular activities were believed to be behind it. The Premier said that search and rescue teams found the plane's wreckage in the Hassana area south of Al Arish in the Sinai Peninsula. The down claims that the plane had been shot down from such a high altitude. Later, the Premier visited the morgue of Zinhom where the victims' bodies were laid and demanded to prepare a for everybody after taking a DNA sample and fingerprint. The ill-fated Airbus uh, A321, operated by Russian airline uh, Kugalimavia under the brand name Metrojet, was from the Sinai Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh to St. Petersburg in Russia when it went down in a desolate mountainous area of central Sinai soon after they... During a telephone conversation, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi extended his condolences to Russian President Vladimir Putin and the families of the deceased. CC promised uh, to create uh, conditions for the widest possible participation of Russian specialists in the investigation into the cause of the crash. Egypt is, Egypt is preparing to receive families of the victims as rescuers have recovered 129 bodies from the site of the crash. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered on Saturday the emergency ministry to dispatch rescue teams to Egypt to work at the plane crash site as he declared November 1st a national day of mourning. In a statement, the Kremlin said that Putin also ordered the government to launch a special commission an emergency ministry meeting announced that teams of rescue workers along with the Russian emergency minister will fly out to 1,500 hours GMT. Russia's transport minister and the head of Russia's air transport agency are also leaving for the site. Russia's investigative committee said it had launched a criminal probe into any possible violation of air safety. It was also sending investigators to the scene. A Russian passenger plane carrying 224 people crashed uh, and now investigations are taking place. The Russian uh, uh, emergency ministry published a list of names of the ranging in age from 10-month-old girl to a 77-year-old woman. At St. Petersburg, Polkova Airport, anxious family members awaited news of their loved ones. The plane with 214 Russian and three Ukrainian passengers and seven crew had taken off from the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el in the South Sinai Bound, St. Petersburg. It lost contact with air traffic control 23 minutes later. Egyptian officials said the pilot of the Russian airplane airliner had reported technical difficulties and wanted to, wake, to make an emergency landing before losing contact with an air traffic controller. An initial examination of the crash site showed that the plane had crashed due to technical failure. The Russian embassy announced in a statement that all passengers on the flight had died when the plane crashed, extending condolences to family and friends. Investigators will look into, uh, among other things, the weather at the time, the pilot's experience, maintenance records, signs of a stall, and any evidence of an explosion. In a related uh, development, the State Councilman Hossem Kawish uh, announced the formation of a work group including the ministers of aviation, tourism interior, social solidarity, health and local development as well as representatives from the ministries of defense and foreign affairs. Police in Sinai announced a state of high alert with forces being deployed at the entrances and exits of the governorate following the plane crash. Head of the Suez Security Authority uh, Directorate General Gamel Abdelbari has uh, 
inspected the, uh, the Ahmad Hamdi tunnel and the forces deployed there. Russian state trans uh, transport regulator said it had found violations when it last conducted a routine flight safely, safety inspection of Kugalimavia. But after the inspection which took place in March 2014, the, air the airline remedied the breaches within the deadline, uh, the, the deadlines it had been set. Airbus said it was ready to provide full support and investigation over the A321-200 inflated aircraft. Airbus said in a statement the aircraft was 18 years old and had been operated by Metrojet since 2012. Welcome back again uh, to Money Means Business and uh, with us uh, our, our guest Dr. Hassan Shafai, Egyptian Romanian Business uh, Council Chairman and member of the board of the Egyptian Business Fan Association. Welcome sir with us here. Thank you, um, and uh, we do have uh, Dr. Muhammad, uh, Mustafa Zaki, financial expert. Thank you very much no, sir welcome. for being with us. You are honoring us with your presence. And, um, it's, it's very sad what, uh, um, what happened um, uh, with this uh, sad tragic event. Um, how do you see it sir? Well, first I have to uh, send my uh, sincere condolence uh, to the uh, Russian families uh, of this uh, 224 innocent uh, uh, victims or, yes. or uh, people. Uh, they came here uh, to have a good time and uh, this is what happened. But mm -hmm. it happened everywhere in the world. It doesn't happen only here. So our condolence to them, to their country, uh, we have a very special relation with the Russian people yes. and uh, we feel uh, uh, deeply sorry because it happened with our friends, the Russian friends. Uh, we, we cannot forget uh, the history with the uh, cooperation with the Russians uh, since the High Dam, uh, since they stand with us uh, for uh, supporting our uh, army. And uh, lately, they stand with us uh, very, as a very good, sincere uh, friends. Uh, so uh, we really feel uh, this is uh, uh, a crisis for us, not only for them. Yes. Uh, this has happened everywhere. If you go back uh, one and a half year ago, you will find that uh, aeroplane crashed. Uh, uh, this uh, Malaysian one, uh, which we don't know yet uh, anything about it. Uh, yes. Another Malaysian one uh, uh, on the top of uh, Ukraine, uh, the Indonesian one, uh, the Spanish one. And so I think in the last two years uh, we were unlucky, a lot of uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. As long as there are no terrorism in the act, mm -hmm. This is, should not affect anything, mm -hmm. okay? So it's too early to say, I think we have to wait, but all the evidence mm -hmm. shows this. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I heard uh, today a lot of expertise uh, all over the world, uh, and uh, simply they say it is uh, the, the pilot uh, lost control, either something happened to him or the control unit itself uh, went uh, crazy for any reason, uh, but I, again, you know, they will make more investigations to find out what is the results. Yes. As long as we're talking about a defect in, in a control unit, yes. uh, uh, not a sabotage, uh, not a terrorism uh, done by human beings, uh, I think uh, will not affect uh, the uh, flow of the uh, tourism uh, yes. from the Russians yes. because they are number one tourism uh, groups are coming to Egypt now they are over four millions and we don't want to really suffer uh, to cut that uh, uh, fortunately most of this uh, reservations uh, 
be in November and December and January will not be cancelled because it's too early, to, too, too close to, to be cancelled. Mm -hmm. But if... if but what, uh, what do we have to do with that if an airplane crashed? You know, what does have... Uh, uh, the tourism as long needed, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think what we have to do as Egyptians, we have to really, uh, 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 like, uh, like we do with our friends and our families when something happens bad like this, we, we stand by the Russians, the, tour, the Russian tourism coming uh, to Hergada and Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, I think the hotels should uh, give them flowers, uh, be nice to them, uh, show them the feeling we have. Uh, uh, I, I hear today they, uh, they want to make some kind of a monument in, in Sinai. Uh, uh, and ideas like this just to show the moral support. Mm -hmm. I think this is more than enough. We cannot do it. If this is will affect our tourist business or not, I hope not. It's too early to say, but as I mentioned, if it has nothing to do with tourism, it's going to pass. It's going to go smoothly without any problem. Mm, that remains to be seen, so we'll see what's going on. Uh, Dr. Mustafa, how do you see uh, the situation since, um, well, problems like that, or let's say like accidents like that happen everywhere, but then when it happens in Egypt, even if we don't have anything to do with that, suddenly it becomes the, the emergency, you know, like, uh, the, the, and, and you know, like uh, latest news and uh, urgent and all that. I said, uh, Dr. Hassan, about uh, the, uh, this is happens and this crash for airplanes, it's not in Egypt, and all over the world, whatever what the countries, but the, uh, the important things, we have to avoid it, the rumors for the terrorists, and how, or this is uh, make a fear yeah. for the tourists for yeah, that. Yeah, but the, the Prime Minister played down uh, the, the claims that the plane had been uh, shot down from such a high altitude, the 30,000 feet. Um, that's right. Yes. So that's, we have to avoid the rumors. Yes. The rumor is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't say this is for a, to, uh, uh, the terrorist or whatever. Mm -hmm. We have to say uh, or to be wise to wait for uh, the analysis for these problems and we have to uh, hearing from the uh, experts and the specialists uh, because not uh, for everybody is just talking about this is a rocket from the Sinai or something like that mm -hmm. especially uh, this is starting the rumors from the media uh, mm -hmm. France and other country and Germany, yes. they will change the route for Sinai. Yes. So this is the first reaction. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, I'm not happy to hearing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's safe 100% and we control for our atmosphere, Egyptian atmosphere. Uh, and uh, I would like to send a message for all the tourists in the, all over the world. We are in a safe could be coming and enjoy in Egypt and all the beaches and museums and so on. So, because this is uh, uh, especially we needed uh, the tourists on these moments because we need hard currencies and also we open uh, the uh, our, or our uh, areas for the tourists and welcome them and they have to come and enjoy and we have to send a message to all all over the world. Yes. You are welcome in Egypt. We Egypt is very safe. There is no problem absolutely for uh, Egypt or there is no terrorist now in Egypt at the sea. Well, uh, then you like uh, talking uh, about the dollar, you know, fluctuation, then uh, uh, the stock market and uh, inflation, not inflation, you know, it's like, how such uh, an ax tragic accident, although, uh, well, up till now, in like, it, well, it, it has to do with the plane itself, it has not to do with Egypt, uh, per se. How would that affect uh, the whole situ economic situation, in your opinion? Do you know, I would like to tell you for the very important things in Egypt. There is some world, some countries did not like 
uh, to make uh, or they, they like to put Egypt in a bad situation. Well, actually, you know, especially such a, an event, you know, a tragic event would be used by many, although like it happens everywhere, but That's many right. would like to use uh, it. So we, we have challenge for uh, uh, to recover from the past and we have to looking for the future. We have to looking for how to attract the, uh, the hard currency to coming back to Egypt by invest by transfers from the Egyptians uh, outsiders we need uh, the tourists uh, even domestics or uh, international uh, tourists because it's very important and uh, we would like to recover 100% for from the situation now mm -hmm. because how can Egypt biggest money from the other countries this shame Egypt, it's a big country, and uh, we have uh, for the Egyptian people big challenge to work and more uh, production. How to can attract the investors to coming here? This is uh, we have to play with uh, from investment departments and uh, the other ministers is working for these points mm -hmm. because. As you know, we we facing problem in the, our uh, reserves in, uh, in hard currency in uh, central bank, in yes. CBE. Yes. And this is no good because mm -hmm. that means all the prices are going up. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the value of Egyptian pound is going down. Mm -hmm. And we would like to, uh, for that for country like Egypt. Egypt, it's Egypt. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of resources. We have a lot of challenges but we need all the uh, aspects all the uh, parts in Egypt mm -hmm. we have to be gathered working well and uh, to uh, uh, make a good achievements for economy and we have to put as I say before in the other programs we have to put in a planning for a long time a long-term planning for Egypt for future Yes, uh, sir. How do you see you know, this uh, uh, tragic event being uh, some parties that would like to just uh, uh, create uh, uh, havoc or just uh, well create unsuitable atmosphere for Egypt to to get better in this uh, difficult times? Okay, I one of the reports I heard today it was from the CNN. Uh, and uh, the, the, the part I like, uh, because uh, we always blame ourselves when it happens something yes. like this as Egyptians. And the report was saying the plane is not Egyptian. By the way, the plane is American, <laughs> made by Amer my American company. The uh, company, the airline, is Russian. The pilot is Russian. We're not going to talk about the passengers because they are really uh, uh, innocent people. Uh, but even the fuel, they bomb the fuel in this plane in Russia, not in Egypt. They made the main maintenance over yes. there yes. before they come. Yes. So, you know, uh, 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 if, if you look to it technically, almost 99.99% Everything goes to technical the, problems the, the, that it, happened before. Even it, it has nothing to do with us. Yes, yes. Okay. So, if we are innocent, nothing to do with us. We should be confident. Hmm. We should not really be affected. Yes. And if for any reason, yes, somebody like the uh, Lufthansa or Air France makes yes. this uh, announcement, yes, which is we, you know really we, a very we, uh, we, uh, we, yeah. we must fight back mm. logically mm. not mm. just uh, mm. okay mm. yeah what, what is the cause for it you know exactly uh, uh, why are you uh, like talking uh, like now like, now, like, now okay. you're talking politics not yes. po not, not yes. making sense exactly okay if we do that if we fight back if we insist not every time we have a little thing from here and there somebody pushing us yes I think this is will not affect us at all for anything Yes, we have problems already, yes. you know, uh, uh, simply because the, the tourist business uh, yes. was bringing 12 billion yes. uh, uh, US dollar per year 
and our neighbor uh, Turkey was they almost have a civil war in their country and mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, more than uh, I think 30 or 35 billion US dollar revenue from yeah. the tourist business yeah. there. Well, 30. we'll come back to this because this is important for something I'd like to mention. So, um, so we should not accept, even the 12 billion is not acceptable. Yes. Okay, because if we're comparing to Morocco, if we compare to, to, to Spain and uh, to, to Turkey, we'll find well, this is a very modest figure. Okay. We have a lot of successful infrastructures in this business. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody knows. You go to Sharm el-Sheikh, to Hergad, and all these places. There are no matching in, the, in, the, in these other countries. We have uh, a fantastic weather. Nobody can match us in it. Yes. Uh, we have good locations. Uh, uh, we have, of course, the ancient Egyptians' uh, temples and all of this. So there are a lot of resources to make us number one in tourism in the world. And to make others jealous of that. <laughs> not <laughs> not that. to be struggling like we are. Yes. Well, I'll come back to this point, but we have uh, uh, Ambassador Rauf Saad, uh, former ambassador to Moscow. Hello, sir. Hello. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, sir, how do, you, how do you view the situation politically? Uh, um, would it affect uh, would the, its impacts right now in this critical time that Egypt is passing through? Well, uh, first of all, I, I, I have to tell you that I personally am I'm, I'm, I'm extremely sad for this very unfortunate, uh, disastrous uh, accident. And I feel for, for the families of, of uh, the, 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 those who lost their lives in, in, in this uh, accident. And I, can, I, I claim that I, that, that I can speak for all the Egyptians, particularly the citizens of Sharm el-Sheikh and Hurghada. You know, from my experience, I know how the people, you know, the Russians like uh, the, uh, the tourists come here, not just for a regular, for a traditional uh, tourism visit, but they, they come more often and they like the place. So I, I, I know it's for us, it's, it's a big loss. Yes. Uh, second, well, I, I want to seize this opportunity to be very frank with you and I would like to, through you to call upon the media, you know, that, you know, uh, that, uh, uh, this is not an issue for uh, an exciting story to, to, to be covered. And, you know, the kind of insinuations and the kind of questions even that, that are being posed to your guests and, you know, this kind of uh, speculation yes. about the possible uh, uh, reasons for, for this accident would hurt everybody. It's a loss-loss game. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I, I think it's, uh, if, if we think that we are trying to investigate or to bring uh, the latest news to the, the audience, I think we are hurting uh, the, the, the um, um, hurting Egypt's interests, are uh, hurting the ca the families of the casualties. So uh, 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 I, I would like to, to uh, call upon them just to uh, uh, cover the, the developments with the prudence. Uh, uh, and let's wait till the final results will come. And I'm almost sure that, uh, you know, nothing of this kind of speculations, you know, will, will come true. Yes. Uh, 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 third, you know, it's, it's uh, something very, very important we have to remember, that uh, uh, the, the Russian tourists have been always standing by Egypt at the time of crisis. True. And the Russians, you know, the Russian tourists uh, love this country, love this, and, you know, they were always the first to, to come forward uh, uh, at the time of crisis, and the last who would decline. So, uh, it's, and this is simply not only because they like the Egyptians, because they are fatalists. I mean, these people are really, knowing them, I, I, you know, I served twice in Moscow, and I have been very close to the people. They are very warm people, very, and they are fatalists. So, we should not worry that, that, that the Russian tourists will, will continue to come over. And in, in response to your question, you know, I think the answer came from President Putin. I mean, the, the man knowing that this, this kind of accident could be uh, uh, misused and exploited by those who want to hurt Egypt, you know, came forward at the, the, uh, as usual. He chose the moment in order to intervene and declare that nothing would affect our relationship because he knows that our uh, the, the relations between Egypt and Russia yeah. are uh, 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 acquiring quite an important uh, momentum and uh, the cooperation you know uh, is, is widening in so many areas and he knows 
that this kind of uh, problem, in fact, he is calling upon, upon the people that this, this kind of uh, unfortunate accident should, should not interfere with the uh, uh, mutual interest of the two countries. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 Ambassador Raouf Saad, the former ambassador to Moscow, thank you very much for being with us. Um, and so we're saying, like, uh, uh, when we saw it, like, uh, for example, uh, just complete that and just we'll, we'll, we'll go here. Turkey uh, just put Sondakika, which means uh, uh, urgent. Uh, uh, then, you know, plane crash, and they say so and so, you know, like rumors uh, about uh, the, the situation. Um, so, this is, you know, the. the, the I the think sound. Dr. Zaki mentioned it quickly. There are a lot of people do not like good future, yes. good success for exactly. Egypt. Exactly. It, there are competitors. I mean, let's forget about hate and love. Yes. Okay. This is business. Mm -hmm. And everyone trying to attract tourists, mm -hmm. people, from wherever they are, mm -hmm. to their countries. Spain will do the same, uh, Israel, uh, Morocco, uh, Turkey. So we should do business, do the same. We should not really take it sensitive, you know. Mm -hmm. they fight, we fight back, why not? Mm -hmm. Okay? We have a lot of resources to be more successful than they are. Yes. You know, usually if you are in any business, okay, and you have really a, a, a good raw materials or a, a good skillful labor, good machines to produce, you will succeed in the end. You will beat your competitors. Exactly, yes. And that's what we have. Yes. We have better resources than our competitors. Mm -hmm. Somehow our human resources are not using we'll this use the, the right way yet. yet. Yes. But once we get trained and we know the, the name of the game, yeah. we will be very successful. How can we use you know, uh, I would like to add something. Sure, when you be yes. in Europe or in States, yes. you find the advertisements for the Morocco or Israel or any other countries or Turkey's much more than Egypt. So when I was outside, I, I'm looking for that. I'm, I'm saying why Egypt not doing a good advertisement hmm. through media or through whatever yes. uh, outside to attract uh, these people or the tourists, the tourists uh, to coming here. Uh, unfortunately, we did not find that we have a lot of resources, but we did not advertise or we have a, a profession for advertisements uh, or to attract the people to coming here mm -hmm. in Egypt and looking for uh, the uh, the our uh, uh, museums or temple or temples or uh, uh, the beaches and uh, you know we have a lot of things uh, the uh, if if anybody not coming here to see it he will lost many you things miss a lot uh, miss a lot <laughs> that's right so we mm -hmm. asking the people uh, or the ministers of uh, tourists to mm -hmm. doing more outside like uh, Morocco or uh, uh, Israel or any other country unfortunately this is uh, it's not uh, done the right way right way mm -hmm. up to now mm -hmm. so we you have an, a, a, a 50 states in uh, America we did not find uh, an enough uh, advertisements on all the states over there so uh, and also uh, as dr. Hassan said uh, this uh, airplane is a Russian airplane and the pilots and and uh, everything is not our fault mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. and this is happens in our land yes in Sinai yes. be sorry for that yes. but I think it make uh, more trust for Egypt Air. Egypt Air is, uh, you know, we did not hearing any problem with Egypt Air except since a long time ago. Yes, they are the but, best uh, and pilots. And we have the best yes. pilots. And uh, I think we have a uh, good uh, airplanes in, uh, in, uh, in Egypt. Yes. Especially Egypt Air. Yeah, and talking about that, we do have uh, 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 Mr. Shrif Mary, pilot, of course, head uh, of uh, the pilots of Egypt Air. Hello, sir. 
Yes, good evening. Good evening. Uh, sir, how do you uh, see uh, the tragic event, uh, especially that they were just uh, talking about the, uh, the maintenance uh, um, of uh, the plane itself has been there for 18 years. Uh, um, how do you see the whole situation as a pilot? And um, you are, of course, experienced all that and see it in a different way as uh, then we, uh, normal civilians, see it. Uh, of course, uh, in the beginning, I want to um, give my condolences uh, to the Russian uh, government and president uh, of this uh, tragic accident. Yes. And um, we cannot uh, rush uh, things up. Uh, we must wait for the black box analysis. And there is two black boxes uh, in the aircraft. Yeah. Uh, one is called the cockpit voice recorder. Yes. Uh, uh, which records uh, the, the the conversation between the pilot and the, and the tower? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the other one uh, is called the DFDR uh, data flight recorder, uh, which records all the inputs of the aircraft, altitude, speed, you know, and heading and everything. Yes. Uh, so we cannot jump to conclusions. This is the best way uh, to wait and to see uh, the analysis of the black boxes, mm -hmm. to know exactly what happened with this flight. Yes. Uh, because there are many, many scenarios you cannot imagine can happen. Yes. Uh, well, talking also about uh, the tragic event, um, well, is there any problem with uh, uh, the route uh, of the plane uh, over Sinai? Since, you know, we, we heard the Tanza and Air France just coming up with, uh, uh, well, uh, some statements that were not, should not be timely. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know what statements uh, the two companies said. That they're uh, not, they're just changing, they're not flying over Sinai. Uh, mm, I disagree completely. Uh, Sinai is uh, totally 100% safe. And especially that the aircraft uh, was high in altitude. It was uh, above 25,000, around 30,000 feet. Yes. Okay, and this route, hundreds of airplanes uh, fly this route every day, okay, uh, safe and everything. And it is controlled also. The, the control tower, you know, has uh, the aircraft on the radar. Yes. Every aircraft has a, has a code. Yes. This code uh, showing on the radar okay, of the ATC, yes. which can see it all the way until he gets out of Egypt's uh, territory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if any deviation happens, the control tower calls the aircraft and tell him about the deviation, make sure that he's okay. Yes. So this is a totally 100% safe route. Yes. And uh, we cannot say exactly what happened uh, until we wait for the Investigations results. For the investigations, exactly. Yes. Uh, well, um, Mr. Uh, uh, Manewi, thank you very much for being with us. And thank uh, you very back again. Um, well, again, you know, talking about uh, the media, you know, speculations we were just starting to probe, but you know, some just come up with uh, statements or, or that it, we don't know uh, out of where, since uh, investigations are not really. Uh, there were no. Um, statements released about that, the all, you know, speculations and the events that took place, but nothing really uh, concrete. That's right, but uh, we, we did not, uh, we have to wait mm -hmm. for, to hearing well from the professions yes. for what happened. And this crash is not, uh, uh, you know, uh, anybody just talking about the, this uh, technical way, because this, uh, I think uh, this technical failure or maybe the pilot falls, or maybe engine uh, failure, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said, this we, is very sensitive. Yes. Uh, the media to just uh, take the rumors mm. against uh, these problems, because this problem it happens uh, in in everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we uh, the the uh, very sensitive to just talking about there is a tourist or this uh, fall down from by the rockets from the terrorist and so on so mm -hmm. this is a very bad uh, statements could be hearing from the media yes the media they have to wait to just hearing 
the or to see the analysis of black box for or two black blocks as he said now yes. uh, they have to just analyze there is a hundred of problems maybe uh, there is a reason for that but don't say that in the media or even the people in uh, the streets just taking rumors and talking about that well, well, we do have 90 million political analysts in the streets right. here, so everybody uh, that's is. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> so we have to leave the, uh, the uh, experts and professionals just mm -hmm. to clear these points. And uh, I think this is a normal to happen that maybe there is mm -hmm. some uh, thing uh, or defaults in an in, uh, in engine or something like that. I'm not uh, a professional, but... Uh, I'm expecting that mm -hmm. and because we have to avoid any economy problem or m suffered from that for the tourists or something like that. I think uh, the tourists will not, never cancel uh, the, uh, the, uh, the trips, uh, but we're looking for the others. Mm -hmm. We would like to, uh, the other tourists is coming. And just we have to make the media to change these minds, mm -hmm. the people all over the world. Egypt, it's, you know, the best places could be coming here and you see whatever they like. If you're going to Europe and uh, States, just spending for one day or three days to see everything. Yes. But here in Egypt, you, you need uh, weeks to see all the places in Egypt because all the countries in Egypt we have um, uh, something to see. Well as we said you know if you don't come to Egypt then you're missing a whole life. That's so right. It's not a half life or a <laughs> whole life. Um, well sir now you know like talking about uh, let me continue on this okay, media. Okay, go ahead, part. please. Okay. No, this the media is very important to <laughs> because of the rumors it can prevent. Uh, uh, you, you know I usually criticize the media. In even when we talk about economy. Yeah. Uh, this is an incident here. Yes. The media should be very professional and should be specific. This one. They should describe what happened. Exactly. No more. This is not the time for analysis. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you want to be an analyst, you have to be an expert. Yes. Experts. And they are not. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, to give you a very good example of this, it was a conference for uh, one of the Russian uh, ministers today yes. and uh, one of the uh, journalists asking him about this uh, rumors, things, yes. about the rockets, these funny rockets. <laughs> I'm calling funny you know, rockets. On the 30,000... Um, Even he's very yeah. sad. Yes. He smiled. Mm. This is not a true story. It yes. does not make sense. Mm -hmm. That's well. Simple and short. The yes. end of it. I really listen to a lot of media today from uh, United States, from the West, none mm -hmm. mention these rockets. Mm -hmm. You know who mentioned it? Mm -hmm. Our media Obviously. in Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. They put it everywhere. And, then okay. some people... and some Arab yeah. uh, media. media. Mm -hmm. This is to show you how poor we are mm -hmm. and sometimes how intentionally hurt each other yeah okay because just by repeating yes this false accusement this is yes so you know I, I'm, I'm really taking so long in this part because I think the media have a very important part of course they should just be quiet until the, the, the final reports come and everything would be clear. Yes, yes. yes. And, and then we can react after that. Official reports. Okay. Official, yeah. to be professional, That's actually, right. even not just... Official you know, reports. Uh, yeah, spread uh, yeah, rumors. But it's not uh, just to make anybody uh, allow him to... Uh, uh, do you know analysis or doing his uh, well I told you 90, 90 million uh, I, I uh, really I really like to use this yeah. point mm -hmm. to start uh, uh, moving forward, not backward. Yes. I was just saying before the uh, interruptions here. <laughs> yes. That we had in in, in uh, 2010, I think uh, 12 million people, yes. or, or the revenue was 12 uh, billion US dollar, mm -hmm. and we were happy. 
Although I, you know, I think we deserve more, but, but we were happy. I think we're talking about five or six right now, okay? And the problem is, when you talk about five and six, the cost of it, it's the same cost like 12. So in the end of the line, yeah. you're making a lot of profits in the 12. You're making practically no profits at all when you're making five. Mm -hmm. This is very easy equation. Yeah. We should really drive back at this point and say, Egypt deserved to have 15 million people. Although we are really worried, but I, I, I really wish yeah. all these uh, tourist investors mm -hmm. to come with a big campaign at this moment. Exactly. This is you know, what I wanted to ask you This about. is the right time. What should we do in order to, you know, since others are doing it and, and, and in the, uh, it adds and uh, they succeed, what are we failing in in order to reach uh, the, the, the tourist the, the, investors the tourists that we should be reaching? coming here. here. If you find the atmosphere for the media spreading the advertise, right advertisements in the, all over the world to start to do that, we, have, we are uh, make a losses here in, for a tourist. Uh, you know, in the States, just put 850 for 10 days in Egypt, okay? So that means we did a losses for that. Or, I, I, in my opinion, if, just, uh, if, if you just using these losses to do a good advertisements all over the world, I think it will be much better than uh, uh, just uh, trying to make a sum of tourists by very lowest price for $850 for 10 days full board. I think this is no good. We have, because there is somebody uh, trying to use the crisis here in Egypt and trying to do some uh, 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 dirty games with with the Egyptians or the Egypt, so we did not like to do that. If we would like to attract the the tourist investors, we have to do the uh, infrastructure for that by the advertisements all over the world. Right advertisements. This is a big problem here. Well, my comment, I'm not expert in, in, in tourist business, uh, but I feel sorry that this is the avenue we have and this is the number of tourism we have. Uh, I'm very sure we have a lot of successful, uh, clever uh, investors in this, in, in this business. Uh, how they do it? I think that's their business. Do you know by deal? Uh, uh, all what I want that they really want to recover back quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this incident we have, let's say a couple of weeks uh, pass and uh, everything is uh, quiet and nice, and the Russia tourism keep uh, flowing, uh, coming with the same nice flow as we ask. If we take these pictures mm -hmm. and we show it everywhere in the wallet. Mm -hmm. This is how the Russian, our friends, the Russians, trust our safety, yes. trust our country. Exactly. They love our country. Use every incident use to, this, to the best. Use this as a model. Exactly. Okay. And, uh, there are a lot of ways, but in the end, I think we deserve at least to be like Turkey, to have 30 or 35 million 30 people. 30 mm -hmm. years. Yes. It's yeah. reached 30 years. Yeah. Uh, I would like to add something. What is it doing there that is, is better you know, than what in, we are uh, approaching? The truth is better than our own approach. In 77 in Europe, yes. uh, Egypt's the spreading a very nice brochure for Egypt in all the library in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, free. Uh, if you're doing that again, I think it will be uh, good for, uh, you know, do an advertisement for Egypt and to just attract the tourists to coming here. Yes. Why not to doing these brochures? Why not to doing these brochures? So just reading because many of the uh, peoples in Europe or in the States ignored what is uh, the, 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 the wealth of uh, Egypt's uh, tourist uh, uh, temples or uh, arts or whatever. Yes. So why not to doing that? 
Definitely. And I, I, I think the message to our uh, Egyptian people here, uh, if they have uh, their difference from their government for any reason, this is not the right time mm -hmm. to talk loudly. You have to love your country. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the, your country to give support to the business maybe will suffer. Not to start criticizing mm -hmm. and talking because we're hurting each other. And in the end, everybody will be hurt. So I really wish all Egyptians learn to be, love their country, love their interest, mm -hmm. okay? Because uh, uh, if you really make a lot of rumors, it will come back to you and your it's economy, you will suffer from the economy anyhow. Many uh, don't know that. Many think, you know, that they are just, you know, when they just keep criticizing in, in uh, um, uh, a destructive way, that this is, you know, like building, that this is, you know, uh, being positive, that this is, you know, like uh, uh, just, you know, uh, opposing that is just, you know, something good. This is, you know, this is the result of having the Egyptian community in the top, I hate to say, not intellectual, yes. not highly educated, yes. and not knowing the ethics. So going again back, you know, to the... the this is, this is, you know, in, la in, la classe in is not our times, yes. you know, our, uh, in our, the people in our ages, yes. they learn it at home, the ethics, that's yes. number one. Yes. That's right. Okay. We know what's right and what's wrong and we never make mistakes. Yes. This is you learn any before you learn to write or read or anything in home in the schools in universities we have to go back to this to ethics. the ethics again this yeah. ethics okay. and, and uh, you know and, uh, uh, now as dr hassan said we the ethics gradually yeah and this is we lost is with some you know like but, but then yeah we are losing you know but now you know the the ones who are just coming out of that's you know, right the small we, one, we, young ones we make just, every corrupted person as a model yes unfortunately you know, that's I'm, right uh, even it, in the movies uh, <laughs> even it, in movies it's, it's, it's really right. amazing you know I, I think we should really and try to protect our society mm -hmm. it's much more than an economy really of course of course and we, how, how to do that? This is you know, like a very um, difficult equation because now you know, like we hit rock bottom with the, what happened, you know, with the, um, the revolution, two revolutions, and then uh, we find that the worst uh, in us, you know, is coming out, and lots of behavior has to be. That's right. We have quelled. to build in the ethics in the everywhere, in the home, in the schools in universities, in media, it's very important mm -hmm. because the, day by day we're losing that. Mm -hmm. And w I'm, I'm very sad, uh, as Dr. Hassan said, uh, we're losing this ethics because it was very, very beautiful ethics. Mm -hmm. We just proud for this mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we need it to build how can Egypt, we build that? You're summing and, okay. To build Egypt, have a code of to build ethics, the economy. And if you just transcend that, I, I that's right. You, I, I tell you how. how yeah. uh, okay, I cannot answer how we will build it ourselves, but I can tell you what mm -hmm. the other did. President Sisi was, uh, I think, a month or a month and a half ago in, in, in Singapore. i been in Singapore when they were poor. Mm -hmm. And they were very corrupted. You name it, anything. Anything wrong was there. And this country, because they establish a system, any country won't really wake up and go. They have to establish a good system and make sure they apply it. Yes. No, forget about persons. Yes. Because persons go, comes and goes. Without yes. exceptions. Yeah. Applied with those exceptions, uh -huh. the system we have to keep it Applies without everybody. exceptions. Yes. Without yes. exception, yes. of exactly. course. That's that's what be, I mean. Be, the, because exception, you know, is exception in my opinion is a, yeah. It's a part of the corruption. Th that's Th you know, this, this is, is the way they you, identify you put, it everywhere. You put your finger now for the pain. This is this the, is a this problem is because if this, you just uh, um, um, respected the rules, respected the system, everything, and you find some. 
an exception. Singapore. That's yes. exactly what they did in Singapore. And, and Australia. Australia. If you're going to Australia, there is no exceptions. Do you know, the keeping the rules as is, even the foods, if you have the foods in your uh, uh, bag, they have to, to inspect it. And if these rules of their rules, they, <coughs> sorry, they will take it out. That's some token. Here there is the problem for when just uh, since two days ago uh, the policeman is coming and stopped two persons and other mm. and asking for the license, uh, license. Mm. and the other he's an, a policeman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just he said, okay. You can go because he's a policeman. Okay. They have to uh, stay and looking for that. Yeah. I think to check there it is an safety belt mm -hmm. and everything. Why? Why are you taking an exception? You, you, you are right. Back to what we were saying about Singapore. Yes. This little country, which is five million people inhabitants, you know how many tourists come to this country every year? How about thirty? More than double. They have nothing. Used to come. Yeah. It's humid. It's hot. It's uh, it's a nice island, but it's uh, you know uh, uh, even the kids nice plants. They, they, it wasn't and, there, and also the, yeah. the trade centers in, in okay. But well, well, that's artificial, you yes, know, artificial, like Dubai. Exactly. This, yeah. this is a kind of artificial thing yeah. so you do. It. Yeah. But that's back to what I was saying. We have all the resources here. The only thing we're missing so far is the human resources to How operate. How can present yeah. your resources? Exactly. This is a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can present your resources? Mm -hmm. How we can show the words, re your resources? This but is the a same thing for Dubai. Dubai you know, like has That's artificial, right. like, you know, uh, different things. Not, it's not like what we have it's here. It's easy yet. to doing that. Mm -hmm. But how you can manage that? Mm -hmm. How we can manage this? But if we manage it, believe me, you have 90 mil million people here. That's if right. you really put them in the right road, mm -hmm. my goodness, you would be a great country for sure. Definitely. This is the key. How to just <coughs> this is the key. them to the right thing, you know, the Act 90 million like, people. I, I remember, and it I'm, is the most difficult also. I, I remember mm -hmm. in, uh, in, uh, in 77, we are going to approach, just uh, they gave me in airports some of uh, uh, tourist books, brochures, just spread it over there. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I, I would like uh, normal passengers. Uh, uh, specialist for anything, but they gave me a lot of brochures and yeah. they gave it to me and to spread that. And I did. Mm -hmm. Why not to doing that again? Why not doing a good advertisement for that? Why? Example. You have to spending money for that. You have the spending money to take a revenue. Mm. But it's not just talking and just spreading rumors and just still spending money, talking. but not in the right direction, just not channeled in the right direction. And uh, proud to say or some rumors and uh, be for, uh, you know, fake rumors. And, uh, I, I heard one of the uh, executive uh, officials in uh, the central bank the other day. This is to show you behaviors of the people can make the difference. Yes, of course. We, we of course. suffered, of course, about this dollar business. Of course. We were short of dollars, simple. So the, 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 that, the guy was saying, how am I going to get dollars? Hmm. If the Egyptian exporters does not transfer their the money, revenue yeah. to the bank, if the Egyptians who used to transfer 20 billion US dollar last year, they, uh, they, they, he didn't mention the figure, but it's, it's, uh, it's really shrinking very badly. Yes. It's behavior. If you think about it, how much they gain? Practically nothing. Yeah. But it does affect the whole community, the whole society, the whole country. That's what we're talking about. There is a problem for okay. the system. We'll, we'll go for said. this again, but we have you know, like a uh, uh, pirate Galel uh, Barakat online. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. How are you? Yes. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, sir, would you please uh, um, explain to us, you know, like in your, how do you see the situation again, as I ask, um, and uh, are there any more developments that you know of that we don't know of, of here in the studio? Uh, well, uh, well, actually, it's 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 too much early to be clear what's happening happening to what's happening to for uh, to, to this flight. 
and the uh, investigation will be carried out uh, absolutely by both civil aviation, the Egyptian and Russian civil aviation. Uh, a team from both countries will be mobilized yes. uh, to the place of the crash. Uh, the black box, what we call black box, which is the, uh, uh, the device saying they lost, uh, uh, the, the lost uh, news and information uh, concerning this flight. Uh, well, it doesn't say the, the whole story, but it says what is the, uh, the closest scenario happened to this uh, crash. It's too early to say what's happened to the aircraft, especially um, as pilot, I can say. Uh, the scenario of the crash, what's happened, what we heard from the, uh, the, the media, the, the flight was cruising at 31,000 feet, which is uh, uh, high altitude. Then uh, the pilot declared an emergency. He called the uh, the air traffic controller, declaring an emergency. Uh, was uh, trying to turn uh, back to Sharm el Sheikh on this area. Yes. There's about uh, five airports available in this uh, area, like Arish Airport is available. Sharm el Sheikh is nearby. He was only 21 minutes uh, departing from Sharm el Sheikh, so Sharm el Sheikh was closed. Arish Airport was closed. Elat in Israel is closed. Uh, Ataban, Urdun, uh, Nakab, and Charm in, in, in Sinai, they, he, couldn't, he couldn't make it for any one of these uh, airports. The, the flight was lost and uh, they uh, couldn't, couldn't carry out the, uh, the altitude. He lost his flight, he lost, he lost the altitude. He uh, went down to 6,000 feet. And all of a sudden, the aircraft was, uh, was crashed. It's too many reasons to say what happened to the aircraft uh, okay. for, as, as a pilot. Yes, I can yes. say it could be, yes. uh, it could be um, engine problems. It could okay, be uh, uh, pilot, specialization uh, problems. Thank you very much for being with us. Unfortunately, we came to the end of this episode. Uh, uh, I have to thank uh, my guest, Dr. Mustafa Zaki. Thank you very thank much you for being right. with us. Uh, Dr. Hazel Shafi, thank you very much thank for being you. with us. Uh, as for our viewers, thank you for being there. Uh, we extend again our most sincere, sincere condolences to who lost a beloved uh, in this tragic event. I'm Dermin Azim uh, signing off. Uh, goodbye for now. See you next week.